What's up guys? I'm back up at uh, BIR for the 4th of July weekend. We came up here for Wednesday night drags and I made a handful of passes. Uh, seeing as how I know what the car is going to run, I wanted to dial in as close to uh, 1250 as I could. So I uh, tried some little things here and there and I backed up uh, 1253 with a 1258 and I hot lapped it so pretty much left all that exactly the same. I changed the, the shocks down a click just to see what would happen. I'll probably put it back after this passes to see what it depending on what it does. Um, so we're just gonna try and dial in our best 1250. Um, if uh, this goes a little bit slower I'll probably just go back to what I had in the shocks. I don't think it really will but just hoping to stay within the 1250, see if um, I can maybe get home a trophy. So, see what happens. So 1257, uh, I'm back. I, get, I got my mile an hour back. That, that's just probably because it's the first pass of the day. Um, 60 foot is continuing to get worse. So I put the uh, shocks back to where I had them. Um, but I mean, it's pretty much where I want to be. Maybe it, a little bit quicker, but I think, I think if I can keep the car in the 1250s and Get better on the tree. I think uh, I think I'll be in decent shape. So um, I mean, I guess I, I think I found the max of this car. So I'm just gonna set it to the 1250s and try and win trophies. I guess, or at least go a round or two. So we'll see what we do next pass. I'm so just gonna leave the RPM the same. I'll set the shocks back and then. Um, I think I got 19 in the tires. Doesn't seem to be spinning, so maybe I'll add another pound and see what happens. So, so far so good. two clicks into the shock so I'm at eight clicks and um, tires still the same about 19 and see what happens see if we can stay 1250s try and bring that seven down a little
definitely better than the 60 foot. The last one was a 189, so it's back to a 184. Um, went 1249, which is, which you know, I'll take it. Uh, but uh, kind of got to slow that down just a tad. And I went 110 with a six. Um, that's the fastest mile per hour I've ever gone. But I think it's because we have a tailwind right now that's blowing us down track. So I'm sure that helped. So I'm gonna leave exactly how this is alone. And because um, I think this is I think this is the ticket. So I'm gonna see what it does. Hopefully this wind dies down, and that way I can see what this thing will do. Um, if there's no wind, because if it pushed me like a hundredth, then this would be the perfect setup. But um, yeah, 165 on the tree, so I'm definitely getting better. Um, so cool, so far so good. Um, it's been really consistent so far all weekend. Uh, when I got here Wednesday, like I said, I made five passes. It was, the first one was a, a 1272. Then I made a, then it was a 1261, a 1266, and then I went to a 1253, and then a 1258, uh, and then the last one was a 1257, and now the 1249. So it's definitely where I need it. I just little, like small little tiny adjustments, and I think uh, I think we should be uh, good for qualifying tomorrow, and then you know elimination Sunday. So cool beans. We'll just wait till we're called up again. Uh, Randy's on his way up. He just got called up to staging, so we'll see if he can make another pass. He spun on the last one pretty bad. He still won 145, he spun twice, so we'll see if, uh, I think he's taking, he's taking some of it, some of the leave out, and he's gonna ramp it back in, I think probably about 60 to 80 feet out, see if he can better the 971 he had last month, so. We'll, uh, we'll see what he does there, and then we'll uh, get back up here for the third pass of the day. Well, I don't know what I did, but I got a PB. 1232, 111. Literally picked up a whole mile an hour, almost about 112. Uh, I got back in the 7.9 for the 8th, which is what I was running. This is like a time that I would run in uh, Oklahoma and stuff when I was running the 1234s and 36s. Uh, the 8th, the or the, I'm sorry, the 60 foot went back to a 180 and I didn't change a single thing. Same same exact setup from the last pass. Um, so, well, that's pretty cool. I, I, I don't, <laughs> I tried to go fast the last time I was up here, Memorial weekend, and I just got slower. This weekend I came up just to 
dial in for the 1250 class and it's gone faster every single pass since I've been up here on Wednesday. So, I mean, heck, I'll take it. Like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna just leave it alone and tomorrow morning we'll see if it backs up the 1232. I don't, I don't know where the mile an hour came from. It's the fastest I ever went was the last pass, which was a 10.6. This was 111.6, so. Take what you can get, right? All right. Well, I'm just not gonna mess with it. Apparently, it doesn't like to be it, it doesn't like to be messed with. So I'm just gonna leave it alone. And maybe it'll just keep going faster. But I definitely, if it keeps going faster, I definitely need to figure out a way to slow it down for the 1250 class. So anyway, cool. That's that's pretty sweet that I didn't do anything and it went faster. So cool. It's not always easy.
so this one, the last, this last pass was uh, slower than the other passes, which is expected because it is much warmer out and uh, the motor's a little heat soaked and everything, but all these are pretty much where I'd want them to be. I just got to slow down just a little bit for the 1250 class, but uh, yeah, I mean, 1229, this was the first pass. So, definitely, I uh, definitely found something without trying, but the last pass, I'm definitely going to see if I can try and get a 1250 something number so that, you know, I, I can run down that class. So, we'll see. are always hard. So yeah, 1237, 108, um, it is hot, so that makes sense why I went from 111 to 109 to 108, but uh, I'm definitely making making time up in the uh, 330, so... So I'm up in staging for Sunday, so we're in eliminations for the 1250 class. Looks like I'm racing a Tesla, so I'm probably going home. That's great. But uh, I mean, hopefully I can get out on them. And, but I know those Teslas are gonna 60 foot and 330 the shit out of me. So if he's ahead of me, I'm, I don't know. Maybe we'll see. We'll see how I feel. If, if I'm running him down, I'll probably lift to see if I can get him to break out. But most likely, if he's way out, I'm just going to stay in it. Just see what happens, you know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we just got to hopefully get... Hopefully, I'm on and on, on, on the tree. It was not very good on the tree yesterday. If I can get back to my point ones, maybe I'll have a better shot. So... It rains, so hopefully I got enough. Of, I got all the water off the car. Hopefully it doesn't rain again, but we'll see what happens. So I'm either gonna lose to a Tesla or I'm gonna be one. Probably gonna lose.
race on we were literally side by side but he was way faster i could see him basically pedaling him and i stayed in it as long as i could see I am now in the garage and it is Monday and I am not racing basically it rained like four times uh, and I about four o'clock is when they started drying the track again and we only got one round in so I needed to get home it was gonna be about five o'clock till they got to ice again and I needed to get home. So unfortunately, I couldn't keep racing. Um, it was a long weekend. I was battling some pain in my kidneys too. So I just, you know, it was looking like it was going to keep raining too. So I just said, let's just go. So it sucks because I really thought I, I could win that class. I think that Tesla and then there was that... Um, I don't know what kind of car it was, but it was like a that red Mopar. I think uh, I think those two were the fastest in that class, and I think I could have beat. I think I could have won that class. Unfortunately, the weather just didn't pan out. But I mean, <laughs> this thing kept going faster, and all I did was nothing. I just changed. I tried a couple things Wednesday, didn't seem to work. I set it back, and it kept going faster and faster and faster. So I'm on to something for sure. Which is cool. Um, I started running 110. I mixed it with a little bit of 93. Car seemed to like that. It was a little more responsive. I don't think that that's the reason that I gained the ET in the mile an hour. Solely because I was running it on Wednesday too. And um, I wasn't running these times. So uh, I got to say I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with the car. Uh, like, like I said earlier in the video... All of Memorial Weekend, I was changing a bunch of stuff trying to go faster. And that when I went to that weekend, I was expecting the car to run how it ran this weekend. I was expecting to see 1230s and maybe a 1220. And all I was getting was 1250s. I got one 1240. All I got was 1250s and 1260s. And I was, it was really discouraging and I really was down about it. And some people helped me pick, pick myself back up, and I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't change anything when I came home. I did, a, I did the compression test. I put these wheel, these front wheels on to help hold the car in the burnout because those skinnies, these, these things, they don't really hold the car very well. So that's all I did. That's literally all I did. I tightened the shocks up a little bit, put the RPM, the trans brake at 32. That's all I did. I also took the air cleaner off, so maybe that helps too because it's restricted air, but... So, I mean, all in all, it was a great weekend. Personal, personal best. Car was running good. No issues whatsoever. Uh, Randy was hauling the mail, and that thing, that thing will be in the eights <laughs> before you know it. I, I really, I think uh, once we get the, I think once he gets his sixty foot down in three thirty, I think that thing is just gonna take off. So. That was cool. He had a good weekend. I had a good weekend. It was fun. I got a couple things for the car that I'm gonna put on. I got some stuff. I got some coilovers, some control arms, and some cam camber caster plates. I'll put on, and um, then it is race week prep. Basically, uh, we'll be. I think we'll be headed to the Rock Falls here, maybe a month or so. I got this trailer. Race week trailer I bought, made this racking for it. Turned out pretty decent. You're not allowed to look at the welds. Tires will sit here. Jack handle will sit in here, and the jack will sit on top. And uh, seems to be working pretty good. I got two different types of material. Yes, I know, but 
Look at all these holes you can use to tie down stuff, you know? Okay? So don't... Don't, don't you be, you know, making fun of me. Okay? So... Alright. So yeah, unfortunately... Racing kind of, kind of got cut short. I have no idea if they even continued. But... All in all, it was a fun weekend. I'm excited for race week. I really feel like if I can keep running 1220s and 1230s in that down south, maybe I gain another 10th and maybe I have a shot and maybe uh, run within the top 10 of the 12 class. So I had a lot of fun and um, I'm excited. So I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys stayed through it and watched. Um, I was editing the video and I realized there's not, not a whole lot of talking. There's also not a whole lot of outside camera footage. Uh, I kind of lost some of those. Um, and then somebody was sleeping during some of them. So, well, one of them. But, all right. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. I got some big stuff coming. So just be patient. I swear, it's going to get faster, okay? So, all right, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.